Hello guys, the DB Grounded here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Mandarmo versus Marcus Hayden, and this is going to be a 2014 NAWCQ match. The winner is going to walk away with $500, and the loser is going to walk away with nothing, so it's going to be a very big old format match, the tournament finals. Make sure to go ahead and check out Luxury's Facebook page, link down below at the very top of the description if you want to play in any other old formats like this, or even current formats, and then... We're going to go ahead and we're going to see Marcus Hayden win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And then they're going to go first, 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Gen X controller, Abyss Sphere, Tias, Pike, and Torrential. They have, no way, it's the Mermail Mirror. They have Undyne, Abyss Lead, Warning, Tias, Controller, and you do draw six. Uh, so they draw Abyss Lind. It, like, this was any WCQ format. Literally, you, did, you drew six until the day... Not even the day after. I mean, it was literally the Sunday of, except for it didn't count at Nats. So like, the second this form, like the second this tournament was done, you draw five, and the field spell zone thing changed. But Tia's discard lead, effective of search. This should be a good matchup though. Mermil definitely takes some skill. They're gonna dump dragoons, grab controller, dragoons effect. And then that's gonna go grab Megalo. Okay, and then activate Megalo effect, discard Gundy and Lind, summon out, and then we're going to activate Gundy 1, Megalo 2, Megalo, go search for Abyss Sphere, bring out Abyss Lead, and then we're going to activate the effect, tribute Megalo, has to be one in attack position by the way, and then we're going to go ahead and hit a random card out of their hand. Oh, we hit Sphere. Yeah, that's actually a good hit. It's a good hit. Go for Draco Sack. I missed the times where Draco Sack, bring out tokens, turn one. This was, like, a very oppressive end board. Nowadays, like, our Draco Sack just makes Cherubini, and then Cherubini gets to dump Carbonet on, Carbonet on, but we'll save that for another day. Pass, draw Abyssaland, and then standby phase, main phase, so just thinking, kind of hard. Yeah, summon Tias, discard Lind, and then activate the Tias on summon effect. Uh... This is actually like the errata of it. It used to be mandatory. I'm fairly certain it used to be mandatory. Should be at least. Summon effect. Whoa, let's say they might warning you there. It's a pretty good warning spot. Yeah, I think I was gonna say I think you warning that actually. Like that's a really good warning spot. It's really hard for them to like push through that and then you have more pressure with Sphere, you have controller in hand too, so you have like the synchro plays, they're gonna set torrential, and then end of main phase, activate Abyss Sphere, you can't do it in end phase, otherwise the monster won't be destroyed until your opponent's next end phase, so you have to do it at end of main phase, and then now it's their next end phase, because they were just in main phase, their next end phase is one phase away, you get to bring out Tias, and then draw Undone, which is probably not live, since we have both controllers, pop the back row, Summon controller, turn those into a Leo, or back when Leo was good, like this card has no effect nowadays, and it used to be like so broken. Attack over, and then pass, oh my gosh, they draw soul charge! You're just better than him, let him know, let him know. Activate soul charge, bring out Pike and Lind, there's gotta be some crazy play here. Right? Okay, bring out Pike, Lin. Why those? Why not Tia's? What do you got? What do you got in store for us? Okay, normal summon controller. Black Rose effect, destroy the field. Lin, go ahead, bring out Pike. Pike effect, discard Gundy, go search. Gundy effect, summon back from the grave. They're just so talented. Effect, go summon. And then we're going to get this effect. Discard Gundy, go search. And then, what, do we search? Probably Undyne, right? Yeah, go search Undyne. And then Gundy effect, summon back. So it's going to bring back the pike. And then overlay, make Bahamut Shark. We can't attack because Soul Charge. But we're going to Bahamut Shark effect, detach. And then, ooh, a little misclick there. But bring out the Abyss Strike. What this card does is... If it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can summon back a mermail. It just has 28 defense. It's like 28 defense, 26 attack. Very oppressive, especially in this old format. Uh, they draw torrential, and then when this leaves, it summons back a body too. And that can summon back a body that does another body. That gets you another thing. They draw torrential. 
And then switch to attack, battle phase crash, set torrential pass, draw warning, and then we're gonna go main phase, um, normal summon undyne, undyne effect, dump for cost, dump title. That was one thing, this card dumped for cost, that was like the huge thing about it. Especially in title was so good in this deck too. They're gonna activate torrential here, you may wonder why they torrential. Uh, they're gonna search controller, and now they can't activate abyss strike because it's a when effect. So this has to be sent to graveyard, like, on the last thing of the chain. But Undyne was 1, Torrential was 2, so this was sent to graveyard before Undyne was done resolving. So it actually won't be able to activate its effect to summon back from the graveyard. Oh yeah, yep, this is timing. And then they're going to banish, summon out title. But this player has title and a lot of title fodder. And they also have controller in hand the opponent knows about, so they know that Leo can come down too. Uh, setting a purple card's nice, they draw Marksman, so they're gonna set, end phase, this bounces back, draw Pike, title's a completely free discard if they want it to be, summon, effect, discard, title, go search, grab Marksman, and then summon out title by banishing two. Okay, and then battle phase, beat over, attack with 26, dropping our opponent down to 300 life points, they draw MST, and that is game. Uh, so moving on into game number two now. That was a pretty good game. We're gonna see Marcus Hayden go first, but Soul Charge is so crazy. Opening hands, we got TS, Abyss Sphere, Dark Hole, Torrential, Abyss TS. They have Undyne, Gundy, Dragoons, Megalo, Undyne, and they draw Max C. Holy, yeah, Max C is very good. A lot of people see this as like just a going second card, but if you go first and you set up a board and you have Max C in your hand, your opponent has two options. They either don't push through the board and they lose because you have a board. Or two, they try to push through, but they're under max C, so you're getting so much advantage that you just win anyways. But they do have Dark Hole. It's a could be a good equalizer card depending on what they have. Because they have like Dark Hole Torrentials, so like having both those can help out a lot. Dump title, grab controller, and then pass. Yeah, they're not gonna try to set up a bunch there. They draw DD Crow. So summon out TS by discarding TS. Uh, so when you activate the effect in hand, they're gonna drop max C on that. Okay. Um, so they decide to still summon it and attack. They draw Lure Darkness, which works with the Gen X controller. Also, I remember having DT controllers and all T Lure Darknesses when I played this deck at locals. Ooh, I was clean, I was clean. And then battle phase attack over. But I also, when I played Mermail, at locals, like truly played it with that ulti allure. I've been way after this. Not not that not that afterwards, but before Prince came out. And then they draw TS, and then I played the deck with Prince out. It's kind of clean. I'm not gonna lie. Summon, and then effect dump marksman. Grab controller. Uh, then we're gonna be activating the marksman effect to go pop. And the target is the Torrential, unfortunate. If they targeted Sphere, you could have chained it and gone ahead and summoned. Uh, Marksman, the target, has to stay set to pop it, so then, you know, we'd have our Linden defense position. And that's it. Uh, Allure, draw, draw max C, TS, go banish controller. TS effect, discard Dragoon. They said that's fine. They could have went ahead and crowed the Dragoon, but they didn't want to. So they're going to grab Abyss Turge. And then Dragoon's going to grab Maloon, Glacia. Okay, they only have four waters in Grave right now. But if that Maloon Glacia goes through, that's like for sure game. They're already pretty far ahead. Uh, they're going to DD Crow title. That's nice. Getting rid of title's good. And then Abyss lead. Okay, so discard three to summon. And then new chain link. We're going to get Gund effect. We don't have anything to add back with this. So it's gonna bring out Tias, and then we're gonna go battle phase, attack over, attack, attack, attack. Okay, so they definitely have a game plan here, right? Because I was trying to think about other plays, because technically you could have crashed Tias in the Tias. Nah, I don't know. I was gonna say crash Tias in the Tias main phase two, lead, discard. Send a card, then you can summon Moon Glacia, but then you're only sending one card of Moon Glacia anyway, so you're not even getting that good of value out of it. I think you just hold it, yeah. Oh, uh, they're going to attempt to go to end phase, because they know that this is Sphere, so they don't want to try to pop it. 
And then they draw Pike. So go main phase. Thinking way more of this match. Talking with the boys. I see some watchers. LOL. Whoa. 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 They are my fans probably. Activate Dark Hole. I can't lie. If I was in a tournament finals for $500 and it's an online thing and you're allowed to get coached, I'm going to get coached. Like it's five hundred dollars. Like that's a that's like that's like a real tournament prize. So they're gonna activate Dark Hole, Chain Sphere, because you can't activate Sphere then Dark Hole, because Sphere says you can't activate spells while it's up. So in response to Dark Hole, I mean you ain't gotta build your whole board again. Like just yeah, just chain. Then they're gonna chain Maxi. So go ahead, bring out Lin, and then they're gonna draw Mind Control. Uh, the let's see, the Draco Sack lives. I mean, I, I got I got a root for uh, Marcus Hayden a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, shout out to Ohio, Ohio, insane. Go ahead, bring out lead. They draw Tias. The mind control is just looking at me right now, and it knows what it's about to do. Well, even your soul charge, they don't need it though. Just summon, make Leo a game. So moving on into game three now. Okay, which Mermail player are we gonna see win? We're gonna see Mandarmo go first to the draw Soul Charge. We got Maxi, MST, Title, Megalo, TS, and Sphere. They have MST, Maxi, Lin, Controller, and TS. So they have, they're gonna go TS, discard Megalo. They're saying think on that. Decides to discard Megalo too. Could discard Title. Okay, um, Tius in attack mode, I guess because we're going to be using it anyways. Uh, they're saving max C, so if you max C on Tius, the opponent, like, they're just going to pass. Like, they're just going to have a 24 defense guy, and they're just going to pass turn, simple as that. So maybe they're trying to get more value out of their max C. It's the same as, like, dropping max C on, like, a tour guide in Tengu plant format. You don't always want to do it. Because they're just gonna summon sand game pass. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you want to wait till you can really get them on like you know spore effect chain max scene. It's like, all right, do you want to keep going? Like I'm gonna get two draws if you want to keep going. Uh, title's gonna discard gun, go dump lead, and then gun defect target lead. And now they're gonna chain max C because they're guaranteed two draws out of. Well, they're not guaranteed two draws, but they draw a gun because they could just go lead tribute, which I think is gonna happen here. You know, tribute to us, which is why they summon this and attack. They're so much better than I am. And then go ahead, hit a card. And then hit sphere, pass, draw undine. MST target sphere, chain sphere, go summon. Uh, they were just trying to MST it in case if it was something that was not sphere. And then Lind effect, bring out Tius. Just a body. Tius effect. And then we're for sure chaining Maxi on that. Yeah, we get the draw torrential, and then they get TS effect, no gun effect. They're gonna go search turge, normal summon controller, and then make Leo. Such a good card. Uh, but they do have the torrential Leo attack over lead, and then pass turn, draw undine. So go standby phase, main phase. Um, so. If you read it, it says, it says except during your main phase two. So it's not like we can just go like main phase, battle phase, main phase two, Draco Sack Pop. Let's go normal summon Undyne, Undyne effect. And then we're going to dump Dragoons, go grab controller, and then Dragoons effect to go surge. Yeah, Leo is just such a, such a good card. But Dragoons going to go ahead and grab the heavy infantry. Okay. Okay. I had to think that went through a little bit. But I guess I can get behind it. Because, like, if we torrential them, then we have, like, Pike Heavy Infantry, Heavy Infantry MST. Like, we can start cleaning up a lot. We're going to go for Draco Sack. Draco Sack effect. Detach. Bring out tokens. Uh, it's also good for torrential. Because we're going to keep Draco Sack. They draw MST. Oh, gosh. They draw MST. <laughs> Do they MST? I don't think they're going to MST blindly again, no? Because last time they did it in draw phase. Um, yeah, so now they're going to get definitely get punished by this. They got sent for cost, sent Dragoons. They said that's good. Go grab controller, Dragoon effect. 
And they might think that they have Sphere too because they did grab Heavy Infantry. So that might that might have just been like a big mind game. That may be why they have grabbed Heavy Infantry. I think it was probably the right search target anyways. But it definitely makes this like, oh, this could be Sphere to summon and pop something. And then that could be their out to Leo because it'd be during main phase two. Or... Yeah, I don't know. You definitely could have blind MST. Uh, tech over Undyne, tech over Token, attempt to go to end phase, and then doesn't MST during end phase. Okay. I think not doing it before was fine, but once you attempt to go to end phase, you pretty much know it's not Sphere anymore. Unless that they're really trying to play around your MST and use it on their turn. I think end phase you MST, though. But they're going to pass. Uh, they draw Sphere. And then they're going to go main phase. Draco sac effect. Attach. Bring out tokens. And then on the summon. Activate Torrential. Activate title effect. So title is going to go banish. Summon. Bring out. Normal summon controller. And then attack. 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 And then we have our own Leo. Yeah, if we didn't have our own Leo, uh, we would have just done that differently. Like, if we didn't have controller, we had the normal something else. Ah, uh, we wouldn't have normal done. Yeah, we would have that. We could have done that differently then. But this is good. So otherwise, we would have wanted to keep the tokens with us. But this is still a tribute to pop something. So it's still just a diamond dire that has 26 attack. They draw uh, marksman. Then they're going to go normal summon turge effect. Discard heavy infantry to try to add back gunned. And then heavy infantry effect, pop Draco sack, set MST pass, draw Undyne. Uh, I we definitely just MST MST here, right? Because we, we definitely have enough to push for games, so just MST the back row. Or summon Undyne effect. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, yeah, we can go dump marksman, dump marksman, search marksman effect, target MST. If it is sphere, we have MST for it. Yeah, it plays better. They're going to MST the Sphere, Battle Phase, Attack Over, and that is game. So GG, GG, said so. I thought forever, because I had MST, you searched Infantry, so I had to decide if I thought you had set Sphere or Torrential. What was your hand? Clearly I chose wrong, and yeah, it was unfortunate. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I don't play this format as much as they probably do, so I'm just going to assume that they're better at this format than me, but I feel like you would MST, you had TTT, or you had Torrential Set, I could blind MST, but you searched Infantry, I searched Infantry, because it's the only fine target in deck, I should have popped when you let me go to end phase, to be honest, yeah, probably GG's by the way, GG's, yeah, I think that was pretty much well played. Like, it, it seemed nice. Uh, sadly, it was a Mermail Mirror and not, like, Mermail versus something else. Because Mirror matches are a little bit more whack to watch. But a lot of people during this format did enjoy playing Mermail. So if you play this format, you probably will play against Mermail if you try to play in a tournament. Like, maybe not the first time, but, like, the second time. You know, there's a lot of decks in this format. So you can play a lot of stuff. Like, Hat, Fat, Mermail, Sylvan, Infernity... Lightsworn, Spellbook, Geargia, there's a lot more too, Madolche, there's more, like they, like that's nine, that's just like off the top of my head, I'm not even going to try to keep doing more, because there's so many different decks that you could play, and like do decently well with too, uh, the match was a little over an hour long, they probably just thought a bunch, because it's $500 at stake, uh, we are going to see Mandarmo end up winning there. And with that being said, DB Grinder, signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.